Kia ora whanau, you're here with me, the Māori Wargamer, and today we'll be playing Death Watch Overkill. True. Alright, so today we'll be playing Mission 3 of Death Watch Overkill, Mission Recover. Uh, so the Death Watch have begun to pick up erratic broadcasts bearing the sig secure signature of Inquisitor Chagrin. After spreading out to search for the servo skull, broadcasting the messages, one of their number strikes Lucky and causes Battle Brothers to help him secure it. So, um, we've got Subaru, White Scar Rider, riding solo, riding these uh, rickety old mining platforms. Um, he's uncovered in the depths of the mine after they've uh, retreated from the previous failed mission. He's uh, detected and discovered the servo skull of the Inquisitor here that will detail what happened to the previous kill team that was sent, what exactly the Death Watch are fighting today. So for the mission, um, we just need to get one of the members of the Death Watch, we need to get the skull, get to the skull, pick it up, walk it all the way back to this uh, starting position. Um, so as you can see, it's only one guy on the field at the moment. He's lonely, he's outnumbered, but um, his battle brothers are going to be arriving similar to the way the Gene Steelers arrive every turn. At the start of every Death Watch movement phase, a new guy is brought onto the field, and I'm limited in the number of ambushes that I can play. I can't play any gambits as well, so should be an interesting game, an interesting mission. Uh, since I won the previous mission, I get to increase my hands, I get to draw one additional card per turn, so... That's going to help me out because I'm limited. I can only draw cards equal to the current turn number. So we'll see how things go. We'll kick it off um, with turn one. But first we'll take a look at the kill team that has been assembled for this mission. So leading the kill team today, we've got Subere on his uh, the White Scar biker. Riding with his uh, trusty Cyber Eagle. He spotted the servo skull and he's rallied his uh, brothers to um, help him get it out of the... Uh, escort it safely. Um, looking at supporter, we've got Donatus, uh, marksman of the squad. He'll be laying down some covering fire as uh, he races back from his objective. We got um, Red Blade, the tempestuous space wolf, the young upstart who died early in the last mission. Uh, is back in due to space wolf favoritism. Um, we've got some speedsters, Satorax. Raven Guard Master. I'm gonna jet pack in, uh, back up his back up his boy. Delasio, Blood Angel. Gonna to fall to some black rage, another jet packer. We need that speed to get the uh, to get the, the objective off the map. And uh, Rodericus Grip, Imperial Fist. Heavy gunner, frag cannon. He's gonna um, bomb pretty much he can bomb the entire map, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. These are the boys. All assembled, the boys are back in town. Moldy Wargamer. We'll be trying to kill them. Um, but yeah, we'll go into turn one of uh, this mission. Alright, so turn one. Uh, Broodmine phase. I've drawn my two cards. One card for turn, plus one additional for winning the last round. Um, and yeah, ooh, can't use the gambits, but ooh. It's going to be devastating. Got some reinforcements to stop Subaru. I'll play them down and then we'll go to uh, the Death Watch movement phase where he'll get to bring on one of his battle brothers. Who will it be? Who knows? Stay tuned for that excitement. Death Watch movement phase. Um, Subaru races forward. Bram, bram, one. Bram, bram, bram. <coughs> Rodericus Grit, Devastator. Champion of the Imperial Fist has entered the board, hearing his brother's uh, cry for help. Hello, brother. I'm here to provide heavy support fire for you. <laughs> so, the Death Watch are moving in. Ambushes are laid. We'll move on to the Gene Stealer movement phase and see who could be under those cards. Stay tuned. All right, so the ambushes have been revealed. The Gene Stealer Magus. Um, has appeared and is guarding the servo skull against the death watch can his psychic powers wreak havoc who knows also 
cultists with auto guns have appeared, ready to um, fire into Subaru. We'll see what happens as we go to Death Watch attack phase. Turn one. That's the Subaru. Turn his bike around. Gonna fire his uh, bolt gun into twin bolt guns on the bike into the cultists. Three shots hitting on threes. Two hits, two dead. Grit spotting the Magus over here is firing his frag um, his frag cannon solid rounds four shots uh, three shots hitting on fours into the Magus oh heartbreaking the death watch will pay for that failure as we move into Dream Stealer attack phase all right so Dream Stealer cultist attack phase water gun guy is gonna shoot into uh, Subaru Two shots sitting on fives. One hit. One three up armor save. Safe. And uh, the mages, he can't attack only at combat range, so he's just gonna move forward over here. G to the G. Ready to exert some psychic dominance if he survives to the next round. We go back to Death Watch attack phase turn. Attack phase number Rua. Subaru, bolt gun, three attacks hitting on threes. Dead. Grit, gonna try his old same one. Three, three attacks hitting on fours into the Magus. Magus. That's a hit. We get a five up armor save. And we're safe. Oh. There's going to be some punishments dealt out as we go back into turn two. Death Watch Overkill, mission number three, with the Broodmind phase. Alright, so end of the Broodmind phase, ambushes have been laid. Um, and now we prepare for the Death Watch turn movement phase. Alright, so Red Blades come onto the table. I'm not going to attempt to do what it'd be like. I can only imagine like a pirate accent, hey, a Viking one. Yeah, yeah, I'm A.B. Redblade, the ferocious. No, they're like Nords. I don't know what a Nord accent is, eh? Don't worry, I'm not going to attempt one. You get a good pirate accent from me, though. Um, so he's, he's, uh, he's appeared, help his uh, team out, getting ready to uh, ambush the ambush. Ooh, tactical. Um... And, and the, um, I've read the Death Watch uh, Overkill book that came out and he was, um, he gets sent to the Death Watch because he doesn't listen to his, um, to his Wolf Lord. He keeps picking fights with everyone. So um, they wanted to get rid of him. But they said that he was, uh, reminds him of the young Wolf Lord. But he just needs to be a bit more respectful. So that's what he's doing here. Helping Cassius, learning to work as a team. Get some cool kills. So he's running on his own again. Ready to rumble. Um, Subaru's advanced forward is uh, one turn away from reaching the objective. Uh, Grip stayed still, he's ready to defend, and we've got um, the Magus ready as well. So we go into Gene Stealer, reveal the ambush, the movements, plus we've got a little special feature of the Magus Dominion, which we'll see as we move to the Gene Stealer movement phase. So the ambushes have been revealed, turn two of the Gene Stealer movement phase. Um, now, he's getting some, uh, some flashbacks, some post-traumatic stress. These are, he got killed by three um, hybrids with auto guns last time. And now they've appeared. Will he face his worst enemy? Face his own guilt for his harrowing loss and failure of the last mission? Well... We've got some entertainment. We'll hopefully see if we can get a better result. Um, the Magus has moved forward to get into range of his psychic abilities. And uh, more auto gun cultists have arrived to ambush Grit. I need to cut off his heavy weapons fire. So we'll see what happens. Uh, firstly, actually, we're going to use activate the Magus's ability. Dominion. In your ambush phase, you can attempt to confound an enemy with the Magus' psychic might. Pick one Death Watch Marine within combat range. You and your opponent roll a dice. If your roll is higher, the model you picked cannot move or make attacks for the rest of the turn. 
So I was going to pick Gret, but since Subaru is the one racing for the Servo Skull, I'm going to pick him. So we roll off, opponent, me, let's see what we get. Five. Five. Oh, it's high. <laughs> um, oh, so nothing happens. He escapes my psychic dominion. As we go into Death Watch, attack phase, number one. Tahi. Red Blade, the mighty Red Blade. Yeah! Revving up his chainsaw into that hybrid. Three shots hitting on threes. Two hits. Two six up saves. Two dead. Woo! He might be in luck. He can also run as well, so. Moves out of square, hopefully, to get out of assault range. And now we've got Super A into the Psyker. Attempting a Psychic Dominion failed. It only enraged the White Scar. Oh, Genghis Khan. I don't know how to do a Mongolian accent. Um, it'd probably come off as racist, so I'm not gonna not gonna do that. But um, here we go. Three attacks hitting on threes. Mighty Chainsaw. Two hits, two five up saves of the Magus. Wowie! The four armed emperor protects. Oh, he's still alive. Could be dangerous. And our old uh, Rodriguez. Hmm. What's he gonna do? He would just blast, blast into one of the zones. Yep. Three shots hitting on threes, re rolling ones. No, not re-rolling ones. Three shots sitting on threes. Come on, Roddies. One hit, one dead. Still surrounded by five. As uh, we go into the retaliation. Magus versus Super 8. Death Watch, attack phase. Right, so attack phase, Gene Steel Occultus. We'll start here with the Magus using his auto pistol and four staff into Super 8. Two shots sitting on fives. Wham, 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 wham. Give that a like, you love that. Hybrid here gonna uh, attack into Red Blade, Revenge, rolling on a six. Woo! Whoop, 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 whoop. Six. Three up, armor save. Oh, mighty. Four Thor. For Odin, Yar, I'm a Norse Space Marine. Um, auto guns into uh, Rodriguez. Six attacks hitting on fives. Six attacks hitting on Rima. Oh, Yoza. Go back to the gutters, mate. Get out of here. And the other two guys here, four attacks hitting on Arima. Far attacks hitting on Arima. Whoa, whoa, Gene Stella Colts. Woo! Right, end of Gene Stella Colts attack phase. No casualties at all for the mighty Death Watch as we go back into their, their second attack phase. Red Blade, finishing the job, revving that chainsaw up. Ooh. Two hits, two six up saves to keep him alive. No, RIP. Dead. Yeah. All right, so Super A, uh, for some reason, he's not gonna attack the Magdus blocking his path. Apparently my opponent's got a plan for that. Spinning around. Firing into them with Hellfire rounds, blasting three attacks, hitting on threes. Two hits, two dead. A grit, surprisingly not going to bother on these guys. Straight into the Magus, frag cannon, solid rounds, three shots, hitting on fours. Two hits, two five up, Magus saves. Can re-roll ones. Oh, okay, re-roll ones. Because my opponent says so. Nah, I believe you, mate. I believe you. Two hits. Five up saves. Oh, he's not only wounded, but the second one goes through. And he falls off. The railing 
into the depths of the mind will he return later on who knows who knows but that is the end of the gene stealer phase red blade mighty red blade wiped out the enemies here still got a few surrounding here but only the peons the peasants Subaru is free to advance to the servo skull for victory uh, as we go into turn three broodmine phase broodmine phase four cards drawn on turn three and four ambushes laid we'll see how the enemy the death watch respond to these uh, these ambushes and as we go to their movement phase death watch movement phase Subaru has finally made it onto the uh, Servo Skull packed it away safely into his uh, motorbike and um, he's ready to race off with his boys covering him. Um, Donatus is uh, caught up. He, uh, his shoelace got untied and he had to stop and tie it up and uh, it held him up for a bit but he finally got here, finally ready to join the party um, just in time as Subaru Cyber Eagle, his special ability on his card, revealed one of the ambushes. And we've got a gene stealer on the loose about to uh, pounce in. So some supporting fire will be well needed. Um, Red Blade, he's not going to back off. He's ready to rumble. Another fight for him coming up. Yeah, boy. One ounce. And, and Grit is kind of getting a bit overwhelmed. But, you know, he he's not important. All that we need to worry about is Super A getting to the end of the board. So we'll see what happens as we... Reveal the ambushes in the next phase. So the traps have been sprung. Two hybrids with mining lasers have popped out. Ooh, they're going to mix things up a bit. Red Blade overwhelmed. These guys staring him down from behind. That guy moves over here. Three more cultists. Two gene stealer familiars. Little little puppy dogs. Grit. Gene Stealer on the field. Things are going to get interesting, a bit spicy as we move into turn Death Watch attack phase. Played again, history repeating itself. Three attacks sitting on threes. Two, two hits, two six up saves. Two dead. Ugh. A, uh, combat range into the Gene Stealer. Two shots hitting on threes. One hit. One four up save. Oh, Gene Stealer dead. Damn. Broderick is surrounded, but he knows that his team's not going to get past his lasers that can cleave through armor saves. So he's firing his heavy frag cannon into them. Um, had it through shots hitting on fours and re-rolling once two hits two six up saves both dead <laughs> during guard veteran Donatus gonna shoot a single shot well placed shot at max range, hitting on threes. And that's dead. And then he gets a second attack with his bolt gun. One shot hitting on threes. Or fives. fives. Two, uh, two shots hitting on fives. Should have gone with the threes. They are still alive. As we go to Death Watch attack, uh, Gene Stealer attack phase. Phase. These guys order guns into uh, Rodriguez. Fives. One hit. One three up save. No. Nope. Wounded. Rod Rickus. Rod Rickus. Mickus. Wounded. Wound dead. And the familiars into Rod Rickus. Two shots each. So four shots hitting on fives. Oh, nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Emperor. He gets the chance to recover. Uh, this guy. Dueling it out with Red Blade. Two shots hitting on fours. One hit. One hit. One three up save. 
Safe, Red Blade, the man, the myth, the legend. Now, go into no losses again, thankfully, for the death watch as we go into their second attack phase. Red, red Beard, three attacks, sitting on threes. Six up save, one hit. Ooh! Not successful. One attack from him hitting on threes. Hit and dead. Another one. Yep. Hit and dead. Super A Hellfire rounds into these two. Two shots hitting on threes. Two hits. Do they get a save? They get a six up save. Which none of them are saved. Boom. Wiped. Rodriguez, is he going to heal or is he going to shoot the last Gene Stealer on the board? He's going to shoot. Hitting on threes. Yeah. Reroll ones. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hit. Six up save. Dead. The last Gene Stealer on the board wiped off. Gives him a clean table to escape off to. Amazing. We are getting closer to a Death Watch victory. Who knows? The tides can turn with the next ambush as we go into turn four, Broodmind phase. Phase, five ambushes have been laid to waylay the Death Watch Marines. The objective has been secured. Now we just need to see it safely escorted off the board. Can they do it? Turns are mounting up. The number of cards I draw mount up. It's gonna get down to the wire as we go into Death Watch movement phase, turn four. Movement phase, Death Watch. Subra is racing off now. Um, he's revealed another ambush, nothing special. Sutorax, so Raven Guard, dropped in from the skies um, to provide an exit for his uh, battle brother. Donatus staying still. Roderick is standing still. Ambushes have laid. We'll see what they are. Dream Stealer, movement ambush phase. King Stealers, ambush is revealed. Auto, auto gunners. The Magus has returned from the depths. Ha! Huh, you thought I was dead? No. No. Ha 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 ha. Uh, he's on the board. He's going to enact his uh, psychic dominion over Rodriguez. Roll off. Four. Five. Damn. Didn't go off. The mind of the Imperial Fist. He's got the resilience of his uh, Primarch, the mighty Rogal Dawn. Very lucky. More cultists. Um, neophyte hybrids. Auto pistol guys. Ready to rumble Satorax. And um, the mighty Red Blade. Slain six um, neophyte hybrids on his own so far, so I thought would would bring him a bit more of a challenge. A deadly gene stealer. Yeah, this is more like it. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yo, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. All right, so we go into the Death Watch attack phase. Turn four. Hey, revving up the chainsaw and his uh, combat knife into the Dream Stealer. Three top, three shots hitting on threes. Two hits, two four up saves from the Dream Stealer. Oh, whoa! He saved him. That could spell trouble. Because remember, remember, Fano, the golden rule with the Gene Stealer. They get four shots hitting on fours. And uh, cut straight through. Oh, three shots hitting on fours. Cut straight through the armor save. So, Red Blade could be injured. Oh, and he's making. He's running. Like a little biot. Run, Red Blade, run. This is going to, again, sacrifice himself, the noble hero, surrounded by the mages. He's going to try and kill this, uh, this Gene Stealer. Three shots hitting on fours. One hit. Oh, one four up save. Oh, success. <laughs> Dead. So, hey, you stole my kill, mate. Stole my kill, boy. Rumble you. Alright. Victory.
cracks two shots with his lightning claws, hitting on twos. Two hits, two cleaves, so they cut straight through the armor. Lightning claws. One shot into them from uh, Donatus hitting on threes. That's a hit and a death. Another shot. Stern guard vet. And another death. I'm gonna blast some cracking rounds into these three. Three shots hitting on threes. Two dead. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, no worries, bro. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so that's a pretty successful uh, attack phase for the Death Watch. Gene Stealer Retaliation on the. Uh, about to go through as we move into their attack phase. Okay, auto pistol into Satorax. Two shots hitting on fours. One hit, one three up save. Safe. Damn. So a gun into Rodriguez, two shots hitting on fives, one hit, one three up save. Oh, failed, wounded, wounded. Mm -hmm. Grit is wounded, is dead. Golly gosh. Oh, ugh. oh, he's, he's not dead. He's been uh, knocked out of action. Grit, no, no. They watch their brother fall off the railings. The mage just crack cackling with laughter. Ha ha ha! Now I've got no one to attack, so I can only attack at combat range. Sad face. Um, this guy gonna take two shots into... Uh, one shot into Super A sixes. Nothing. Alright, so... One down, two more to go for a Gen Steel of victory, but Super A is racing. He is relentless. Um, one Death Watch Marine killed. Thanks to this mighty guy, he's going to become a Primus for that. We're going to go into Death Watch attack phase number two. Donatus, expert marksman, one shot hitting on threes. Hit and dead. I guess one more shot hitting on threes into anyone else. Him or him? Him. Yeah. Him. Vengeance for Rodericus and he kills this guy. Claws straight in, hitting on twos. Swiss cheese, dead. Two shots from uh, bolt gun rounds into the majors from Subaru, hitting on threes. One hit, one five up save. No, so the majors is wounded. Wound, dead. And that's it. This guy you can just run. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the Death Watch. And we're going into turn five of this mission number three. Very eventful mission. All right, six six ambushes have been laid down as the Death Watch near closer to escape. Who knows what terrifying creatures could be lurking beneath these cards. We'll see what happens as we move to Death Watch movement phase. Alright, sweeping cinematic bird's eye view. Subaru is now only two movement squares off the objective. Off escaping. Red blades move forward, chasing behind them. Subaru's um, eagle has spotted out two gene stealers approaching from this side. So, red blade looking to... Uh, take them out before Delacio can steal the victory. Delacio, the final brother to jump in. He's reached the table and he's ready to chop things up. Close combat. A showdown. Two Gene Stealers versus two Death Watch. Um, Satorax so used his jump pack to uh, get his way all over here. Cover off the exit. Not sure what's coming out here but he's ready to block it off for his battle brother Subaru. Donatus it's gonna stay behind and uh, cover his cover his men. We'll see what happens. The net is tightening. We feel the mission coming to a close. We'll see what 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 hideous creatures are hiding beneath these cards as we go into the gene stealer movement slash ambush phase. So the ambush is revealed. Two terrifying 
King Steel is one of them with the squid face. Very scary. Aberrants. Monstrous lumbering servants of the cult. Why couldn't they have arrived earlier? No, oh, you're telling me. They're gonna go have an epic showdown with the uh, Satorax. Another two aberrants. Mighty lumbering beasts, this time carrying power picks. Looking to take on Donatus. Also surrounded by five cultists who have joined the party. And layers is the back. More cultists. This action is about to the fighting's about to get ferocious as Subaru makes his desperate escape attempt. We go into Death Watch attack phase, turn one. This taking out the mining lasers, one shot hitting on threes. Oh, he gets another shot. Whoa! The mighty steering gun vet. He is uh, fatigued. Battle weary. Missed both shots into the mining lasers. Two shots from Satorax into the aberrant. Hitting on twos. Two hits. And it cuts straight through armor. Yeah, because it got clear. Right, two, uh, yeah, just straight through dead. Swiss cheese. Had three shots hitting on threes. One, two hits. Two, four up saves. One dead. Yeah, he loves it. He killed his own gene stealer hand to hand combat. Yeah, boy, 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 boy. All right, Delacio. Chainsword in the hand. Chainsword, two shots hitting on threes. Oh, did not succumb to Black Raid, but one hit, one four up. And dead. And I'm moving. Oh, and he's not going to shoot. Forgot his shooting to get off. One more turn and he's out. Death Watch Retaliation, someone is going to die. Let's see what happens. To, uh, Death Watch, uh, Gene Sealer attack phase. Alright, so Death, uh, Gene Sealer attack phase, they made a miscalculation and put these uh, mining lasers out of range. So these guys all stay alive. The Aberrants though are going to power hammer into Donatus. A shot each hitting on threes and they cleave. So straight through the armor save. And he's wounded. Ooh, now these guys are going to attack into Donatus. In attack, so I roll five first. Hitting on fives. Oh, three hits. Three three up saves. Donatus dead. Ugh. Second wounded, one more, and it is game over. These three shooting into Delacio, three shots sitting on threes, or fives. Mm. Sixes, two hits. Two three up saves. This will spell victory or defeat. One oh he's done it. That's it, that's that is a death watch victory. Don't you love it when he gets to the roll of the dice? So, Delacio is wounded. He can't attack him from this range. That's the last guy that can possibly attack. We move into Death Watch turn two. Attack phase turn two. And we'll see Subaru zip off the board and achieve his objective. His brothers. Zipping off behind him, getting out of, getting the hell out of there as the uh, hordes begin to overwhelm. Ugh. Escaping with their brothers, of course. So that. Uh. <clears throat> All right. So there we have it, uh, Fano, uh Death Watch victory. So two to the Death Watch, one to the Gen Stealers. In mission three, recover. 
it was a very close game. Come down again to the roll of a dice. An armor save, fail or pass would have determined victory. Uh, and not, not just in the nick of time as the big bads were arriving in numbers. The limitless numbers of the Gene Seller Colts threatened to overwhelm the Death Watch. So they will regroup, taking the successful victory with them. Um, lit their wounds and hope to... Uh, decrypt or find out what was on that servo skull, what horrors lie in the depths of the minds of Gossar Quintus. We'll find out in the next mission. Tune into that one. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. More board games planned uh, if you do. They're a lot of fun to shoot, a lot of fun to film and edit, and nice little quick games um, that you can play on a nice small table. So if you're thinking of getting into, you know, if you love Warhammer, if you love the gaming, but you know you don't like the big setups, or well, hey, these board games, perfect. Lots of cool miniatures. Cool little miniatures here. Dice, you get everything you need for a simplified uh, playthrough. So anyway, tune in uh, to the next episode where the battles continue between the Death Watch and the Gene Stealer Colts. I am the Mouldy Wargamer Fano. Ka kite anō.